I stand here today proud to be the grandfather of Kaylee Marie Anthony. I'm also standing here today proud to have Cindy by my side, to have Lee up here with me, to have Mallory, to have my mother-in-law, my brothers-in-law, my father. I wish my father was here today. My mother can't be here. I'm thankful for friends. I'm thankful for Sherry and Dennis. I'm thankful for everyone that's here today to pay tribute to a beautiful little girl who not only meant the world to me, but meant the world to my family and so many of you that never got a chance to actually hug her, smell her hair, smell the sweet sweat when she came in from outside. To hear her call me Jojo. Sure, I was Grandpa, but I was Jojo to her. Some days when I wouldn't maybe just pay attention to her for just a second, she would get right in my face and, Jojo? Grandpa, Grandpa Jojo, George. She knew me. She knew how to push me to smile at her and hug her. I miss that kiss on the cheek, that special hug that... I tell everyone it's so great to get a hug from someone, but to get a hug from a small child, that gives me energy like you couldn't imagine. Herky sang a song here just a few moments ago. Everyone has sang today from their heart, from their gifts that God gave to them. The music that was played, the pastors that are here today, to not only lift me up, but to lift all of us up. It's God's day. It's Kaylee Marie Anthony's day today. I've talked a lot about Kaylee to many, many of you at our command center that we had. I miss that command center. But you know something? The command center needed to close at one time. And that was hard for me. And it still is hard for me to drive by different places where we had our tent, our gray building where we held t-shirts, buttons, wristbands, banners of not only Kaylee but other missing children. There are people here today that are family united and what that family united are, they're missing their children right now. And if there's anything at all that any of us can ever do is to look for these children. There's children out there that are missing that need to be brought home no matter what. No matter what. At the Eastside Baptist Church, there was banners that were behind me, and I always talked about them each time that we had a prayer vigil. And on my right, behind my right shoulder, there was one that said, doing whatever it takes. I took that every single day to do whatever it took to find Kaylee, to keep my family together, also to look out at each and every one that came to see me or even today and tell you hug your family hug those children tell them how much you love them because I'll tell you in a second they can be gone and the little things that they do when they're not around to do them your heart breaks your heart breaks even more Kaylee Marie's Anthony determination to me it's going to make you laugh when I tell you this but I was fortunate and I am still fortunate to live in a house with three very determined women in my life <laughs> sure Kaylee might be in God's heaven right now but her presence is still at home with me every day I can close my eyes and I can see her coming from her bedroom with her silly little glasses on her her beads, whatever it might be, to make me laugh. She was a comedian to me. She cherished not only time that I had with her, but cherished every day that she was around each and every one of us. Friends, family that got a chance to hold her, get a chance to know who she was, to get a chance to 
smile at this little girl. You would know exactly how I feel right now. There's a special food that my granddaughter ate every single time that we had it in front of her were green beans. Green beans. Some of us might think, oh, my favorite thing is cheesecake. I love cheesecake. Kaylee loved vegetables. She loved green beans. She would eat them so quickly. And, and I would like, wow, how could you make these disappear? That was her food. Nights that I had popcorn with her, and which was pretty almost every night. A special little bowl of SpongeBob SquarePants. <laughs> I'm also fortunate that I'm hope that I am the one that actually taught her, you are my sunshine. She was my sunshine. I have a locket right now with me, and it has my sunshine, my Keely on it. When that was placed on me just a few days ago, the warmth inside of me, <clears throat> I felt her, not only every day, but I really felt her more and more. I sang SpongeBob SquarePants song with her. <laughs> as hard as my voice was to make that, who lives in a, you know how it goes. Do it. But I did it with her, and you know something? She tried to do it in the, her, she did it. her little gra gravelly little deep voice that she had. We would dance around the house, and my family would say to me, oh my God, grow up. You can't grow up when you have a small child around you. We never grow up. We're still children at heart. A lot of us know, or hopefully every one of us know, if you're happy and you know it, Clap your hands, stomp your feet, nod your head, say amen. There's so many different lyrics you can put with that. Paul knows what I mean about that. He does it with his children. Veggie tales. Some of you might know what veggie tales are. Wow, you talk about a meaning of veggie tales, what the inspired, the spiritual aspirations of what veggie tales are. Whew. If you don't know what it is, please get some for your children. Get with your grandchildren. I'll tell you better yet, just sit down and read or watch it yourself. Wow, what an inspirational, colorful stuff you're going to get out of it. I'm thankful for watching DVDs with my granddaughter. Some of her favorite ones were 101 Dalmatians, but to her they were Dal Dalmatians. She would sit for hours and watch Dalmatians, Sleeping Beauty, Bambi, wow, Lady in the Tramp. I'm not going to say how much I'm going to miss things that I won't be able to do with her because someday I'll be able to hold her hand again in God's heaven. I'll be able to take her in wagon rides. I'll be able to kiss her. I'll be able to smell her again. If she could look down right now, which I know she is, like my son said, she would want us all to take today as a day to not only remember her, pray for us, keep our family together, but also to pray for her mom. I miss my daughter, Casey. Do not form any judgments, because I'll tell you, you don't want to be in any of our family's shoes, no matter what it is. Casey deserves prayer. She deserves understanding. She deserves love. She deserves letters. Take the time to write a letter to her. You could just say, hi, Casey, I'm thinking about you today. If you can do it for me, I would love it. If you can do it for my son, for Cindy. If you can do it for Kaylee. 